Man. No, no, no. Nothing compared to a merchant like you. There are people profiting from this? What are you talking about? Anyone who wants to head to North Gan has to say, and those ships need to put into Port Renied for supply. That is true. Still, it's only until Vort. Your friends in Renied wouldn't happen to be paying off the Abbey to do. You think that'd work on the Abbey? They're not as lax as the church will. So that's it. You're in cahoots with. Hey, relax. I'm just saying. So not everyone's been hurt by Vortigern's closure. There's a front and back to every. Except your coin only ever turns up tails. Could you fit my comedy act into tonight's show? Breaking in my new partner, but I can carry the act. I'd appreciate you squeezing us in. For you, Maggie dear, I'll do it as a personal favor, but you get 200 flat. No expenses, no per diem. Oh, come on, don't be so stingy. It gets worse. Our headliner is doubling up after, and the opener flubbed their lines and lost us minutes. Playing deuce for a cold house? Well, all right, them's the breaks. What the hell are you even saying? I'm saying we're going on, and you're my straight man. What? You're serious? I'll take care of the actual funny bits. Just act like you always do and we'll be fine. Bonus points if you toss the men in the audience a glare of contempt every now and then. Just trust me. Oh, hold on. This is all happening so fast. I'm not sure I'm ready for- You'd better get ready, because the curtain's going up. Your lovely comedians for today! Magic Kazam! We're still new to the comedy business, but we'll do our best to give you a memorable show! Now, I'm Moggy, the bright beaming one in the pair, while my moody little partner here is... <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Belle? Everything okay? You need to put some energy into this or we're in trouble! Come on! If you've got one redeeming feature, it's your moxie! That might be, but this is different. I can see you're going through something right now. All right, let's take a deep breath together. <laughs> Excuse us for just one moment. Velvet, what are you doing? We're losing the audience! I, I can't help it. They've never talked in front of such a big crowd before. Wait, don't tell me. You've got stage fright? So what if I do? That's so unlike you. Just pretend that you're fighting some nasty exorcist and give it some gusto. Easy for you to say. I'm embarrassed out here. Don't be such a girl! I am a girl! That's it! Just do that, but project your voice! I can't, and I don't want to. You're a comedian, you have to! Where's your passion for your newfound art? I'm not one, and I've never had any. No, I can see it within you, deep down, the burning passion of a true artist at heart! I've had enough! I can't do this with you! <laughs> Sorry, folks. Show's over. Well, you've certainly shown me something new. A comedy team that just stands on stage whispering to each other. We're going for a brand new comedic style. So, <laughs> what did you think? <sighs> Don't quit your day job. That's what I thought. Now she plays the straight man. I bet I could take it down at three swipes. <laughs> 
Three, four, like a thousand, I bet. This is the time to be kidding around, you guys. I'm not kidding. Check up! wasn't good enough. What do you mean? That demon was really strong. I don't mean the demon. I mean me. If Shigure were here, he'd have sliced it clean in half. But you use shorter dual blades rather than just one bigger one like him, so of course... No. He'd have done it with a shorter blade, too. You can't be serious. He's right. I think Shigure might really be capable of that. Yeah. He's done it before. Can I ask you a question? I don't mind. You want to know more about my clan? Yeah. Well, as the eldest son, Shigure became head of the clan and ran things for a while. But three years ago, a rumor started floating around that he was planning an insurrection, and our lord immediately called for his execution. Sounds like he doesn't waste any time. Shigure never particularly cared about our lord to begin with. All he ever respected was personal strength. Then did your lord send you to do the job? Yeah. The only thing that can take down a Rangetsu swordsman is another Rangetsu swordsman. I thought I could handle it. I knew his every trick and had the time and place all planned out. But when it happened... You got your ass beat. Yeah. He made a fool out of me. I came at him with a great sword, and he just used a small one. All the training I'd done... I couldn't land a hit on him. A rude awakening if there ever was one. Damn straight. I couldn't deny it. Shigure cast aside my great sword and just laughed. Train harder, he told me. I was so frustrated by my weakness, my inexperience. So much so that I wanted to end my own life. So much so that I turned into a demon. Rokuro. In the end, Shigure escaped, and I was arrested for failing to perform my duty and sent to the prison island. And the rest, as they say? So you regret not being able to kill your brother, huh? I know it sounds crazy, but that's just who I am. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just using you for my own purposes. As long as you fight my enemies, that's all that matters. That's the plan. That's what I do best as a demon.
dust. The ingredient Videl's Omega Elixir recipe calls for. I can't believe you actually found it. We have to go tell Videl. Maybe he's been able to translate the rest of the list. Yeah. is right. Thanks! I've just managed to translate the description of the second ingredient. Here, take this and... Oh. What's wrong? Your face is red. Hey, you're burning up. It's fine. I'm pretty much always running a fever. That makes it even worse. We need to get you home so you can rest up. But I'm still translating the recipe. You heard me. All right. She's scary. Is she your sister or something, Laffy said? Well, it's kind of a long story. Oh, okay. Well, you seem to have a pretty complicated life. Do you think he's always that sick? Wouldn't surprise me. I was weak when I was a kid, too. He's probably been like this since he was born. That must be why his parents named him Videl. It means to live. Huh. I never thought about that. Luffy said is like that, too. It means one who lives. One who lives. And he wants to be an explorer when he grows up. I feel sorry for him. But if he drinks the Omega Elixir, I think he can get better. When he sets off on his adventures, will you let him aboard the Von Eltia, Aizen? I suppose I could cut him a deal. You'd charge him? <laughs> I'm a pirate kid. Comes with the territory. But I promise you, I won't charge him too much. <laughs> I suppose that'll have to do. One who lives. I did not know that Lafayette's name had meaning behind it. <laughs> Didn't mean much in the end. I poured my soul into getting him through. But he's still dead all the same. Hope. <laughs> what a waste. You really think it was pointless? What else am I supposed to think? It won't bring him back. Thank you. 